Trey, that's a career high nine assists for you. I mean, what what have you been working on to kind of add that to your game this year? Um, I mean, we talked about we had to um, um, hit the middle to beat the zone. So, I mean, Coach put him, Justin, and TB there. So we just had to find them, and then they did the rest. Justin, what was that moment like, uh, you know, coming off the court there after, uh, after the game that you had, you know, where the crowd's cheering, you have your teammates all there waiting for you, um, you know, especially for someone still new to college basketball, what was that like? I mean, it was a great, it was a great moment for me, you know, it's a real big confidence booster, but at the same time, it's on to the next game. I mean, I can't just dwell on me having a good game this game. Uh, my teammates expect me to play good, so. I mean, it felt good, but it's just for the moment. I mean, we got to get ready for the next uh, game we play. What's it like when you're in the middle of a game like that and you're having a lot of success, making a lot of shots? I mean, I just feel like I was flowing. I mean, I could have made some more of the ones that to get him his 10th assist. <laughs> yeah, but I was just, I just, it felt good. It's like I was flowing. I was just doing what I was supposed to do. Justin, you had 17 of your 30 in the second half. What do you feel went well down the late stretches of the game when they made that comeback that you could really carry the team in those moments? I just felt like uh, going to the middle of the paint, it was always open. And Trey and X was finding me in the middle of the paint, and that's what Coach told me to do. It's always open. So when you get in there, just be, con be confident and comfortable enough to take and make that shot. After the technical, I think they cut it to three. And you guys kind of really seemed to respond. Like, what, what was kind of the message to like kind of take over from there? Um, it was really just he, got, he brought us in. He said, um, we just got to um, dig deep, use each other to get through. Um, to get through whatever we were going through. You feel like that you were able to feed off the crowd a little bit, seeing it got a little bit louder at that point? Definitely. Um, I mean, we just came together um, as a whole. I mean, the crowd helped um, for sure down the stretch. Um, but, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just people on the court and on the bench. Trey, you know, coming in, there wasn't a lot of depth at guard without Ryan. I mean, you were still able to turn them over 22 times. How were you able to get so many turnovers without, you know, fouling and pressing too much on defense? Um, after the loss, who we lost? After the loss last game, Notre Dame. um, yeah, after the loss of Notre Dame game, um, coaches brought us in a meeting, um, and just told us, um, we weren't gonna have the depth that we usually have. So, um, a group of guys he brought in there, he just told us we had to step up and be leaders. Was it a group of guys or the whole team he talked to? Um, group of guys, and then he started um, picking out individual players. Um, so I mean, he got to the whole team. It was like a core group. He kind of talked to me. Um, I can't really talk about that. As a guard, Trey, I mean, how do you sort of navigate the situation that, uh, the, uh, that you're put in today where you where you really know that, like, you, for both for both you and X, given the injuries that you have, like, you guys really pretty much have to be on the court the entire time and not only do that but play. Well, how do you as a guard kind of work through that situation? Um, I mean... We just knew we needed to be at our best um, for us to win. Um, Coach told us before that lob I threw the Ds, um, we didn't have a single turnover. So I think that was pretty much the biggest thing. Um, we were kind of flowing, attacking the zone instead of being hesitant like we usually are. What seemed to be different you know, about that today where we were this is a team that sometimes does struggle a little bit with, uh, with, uh, with turnovers. What felt different? What were you guys seeing out there that kind of led to that? Mm, mostly just film. Um, coach watched film with us before, like right before the game, sent us some clips for us to study um, on how to beat the zone. So we kind of just studied that. And then at the beginning, it took us like four minutes um, to kind of get used to it. So once we got used to it, then we just found out how to attack it. Trey, how much has uh, Justin and, and Audis opening up their offensive games this season really taken some of the load off what you and X feel like you have to do offensively? Um, I feel like with them, it was just all confidence. Um, they were just um, in their own heads. I mean, Justin, I mean, that happens as freshmen. And then Deese was kind of in the slump. Um, but, I mean, I always knew Deese was kind of going to get out of it. But as a freshman, it's kind of hard. Um, all of us experienced that. Um, but it took us a lot longer than it took Justin. It took us probably half the ACC. Justin does a good job bouncing back. Justin, at what point did you know that you kind of had it today that you were on? Did you feel different in shoot around or anything pregame? Nah, I just had a, a conversation with Coach after the game, after the Notre Dame game. And he was just like, I had uh, 20 and 11, and I only played basically the second half. Like, I only woke up in the second half. He just told me to come out here and just bring energy and, like, don't have an on and off switch. Just come out from the jump and just play and just play my game, and everything will come to me. So, sorry, you did. 
Did you know you had 30 when you came off the court? Yeah, I knew. They were telling me I had it. <laughs> You know, uh, you know, you're someone, Justin, who even, you know, who despite, you know, despite being your first year of college basketball, it seems like in a lot of situations, you, you're someone, with, you know, especially with offensive rebounds, it seems like you're always kind of in the right place at the right time. Um, where do you think that, you know, wh wh where do you think that sort of instinctiveness uh, comes from? You know, how do you see the game while you're out there? I just try and pick apart, like, uh, the open spots in the court. Like, uh, I, like, I'm not going to try and play outside my game in a tough game like where we could actually lose. So I just try to, like, find an open spot in the court and just attack them in many different ways from that spot, whether it's going for the offensive rebound, taking off the bounce. But I just try and pick apart, like, open spots in the court and just attack from there. Is that what kind of happened? The two and a half minutes left, you got an offensive board, put it back, and you guys went up by eight, I think, at that point. That's pretty big. Yeah, I just knew the big wasn't going to – it wasn't going to move. It didn't go, just go for the rebound. So I just tried to pick it apart and get the rebound. Trey, you guys passed your win total from last season with at least eight yeah. games left. I don't know if that's something specifically you guys have been you know, looking at, but just how you, how much better do you feel like this team has gotten in a year's time? And, and how can you kind of describe that growth? Um, I think it was more the core group um, at the beginning of the season. Um, I mean, me, X, and Dees, we kind of brought it upon ourselves. And then coach had conversations with us and then telling us um, to kind of lead. Um, so now that the older guys who are ahead of us, um, we're just, they, they taught us a lot too, um, but they didn't teach us as much, um, I would say, as like a regular freshman because they, they didn't win as much. So we kind of had to kind of learn on our own and just listen to coaches and learn from there. So, I mean, we just tried to get everybody on board, stuff like that. I mean, they were really receptive. Justin, did that tech that coach got there maybe kind of get you guys pumped up? I think they pulled within three at that point or whatever. Did that kind of get you guys going defensively maybe? Yeah, we just felt like uh, it was a bad um, foul call. I mean, coach always tells us don't react, but he kind of reacted <laughs> this time. And so, I mean, I kind of just took it like, you know, like uh, I don't really like, like to rely on the refs or anybody else besides the people on the court and on the bench. So, I just – Felt like uh, it kind of sparked us a little bit. Like we just felt like we're not gonna let nobody come in our house. Like we're tired of losing in our home, so we just took it upon ourselves to just go out there and win. You, you and Justin both mentioned conversations with the coach uh, you've had in recent days. Is that a big part of his coaching style as we sit down with you guys face to face? Mm -hmm. uh, most definitely. I feel like face to face conversations. Um, you can kind of feel like the mood. Um, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then he's big on just using examples that he went through and, like, the other coaches went through to kind of, like, so I feel like if they went through it, um, we can kind of relate a little bit more than somebody just trying to tell us.